G'day, this is Mempi, our 38 foot moody sailboat. I'm Kim and this is Steve. We bought our sailing boat in October 2019 and are planning to sail the Med for a couple of years. Welcome to Marina Oricum, half an hour drive south of the Laura in Albania. We had planned to stay for a month and instead we have been here for 180 days, with permission of course. We're certainly not complaining, it's beautiful here. Let us show you around the marina. It's located at the south end of Laura Bay. When arriving at the marina on a sailing boat, the red brick of the buildings are your marker. Use the red markers to get into the marina. It's best to stay in the centre between the breakwater and the marker boys and centrally through the channel because it's quite shallow. Typically, boats reverse park to the pier and use lazy lines to secure the bow of the boat. But we have parked both ways while here depending on what work we needed to do on Mimpi. Marina Gorikum is a private Italian owned marina that is well protected although it can be challenging to enter and park up in strong onshore winds. It can accommodate sailboats up to 20 metres and with a keel depth of 2.3 metres. The majority of boats here during our stay have been motorboats and there are limited pull out, dry dock and maintenance facilities at the northern end. There are no refuelling facilities, however marine staff can arrange fuel delivery for you. We have extensively explored the breakwater and rocky beaches on either side of the marina. We've come on a morning walk after having our honey, lemon and apple cider vinegar. Steve said I wouldn't need my sunglasses. Clearly I do. We even came out with jumpers and now we've stripped them off. We've noticed something fascinating. So peering into the water we can see all these sea anemones and I've noticed they've got rocks on them. Like what the? How did they manage that? And there's some that have got one, there's some that have got three, and we've even found one that has got five. Now we're wondering how on earth and why on earth they're doing this. Some kind of sea anemone social structure or looking good factor. Whether they're upside down and how they managed it. Do they work together to create these fascinating hats? Yeah, that's definitely the winner. Yeah, we found the competition winners. We've even got, there's one there that has sticks on him. And then this one has got leaves and oh wait the, it, and then another one with leaves winners over here <gasps> this one here he's got one two three four five six more than six rocks as well as two leaves now dude how did you manage that okay, i've been pissing myself with laughter watching this Throwing the tender. <laughs> is it just me or is it funny? <laughs> Having fun? <laughs> How do I steer this damn thing? <laughs> he says that because it doesn't have a keel, it doesn't steer very well. I asked him how old he felt, and he said five. <laughs> but this has been very entertaining. Some scrubbing and give a check out. Our stowaways. It's actually gorgeous to see these guys on board. But look how massive he is. After my bit of a row with wet hair after a shower, looks like I'm going for the uh, Wolverine look. Hmm. Let's put on our gum boots, our raincoats, and our hats. And jump in all the puddles with a splish, splosh, splash. <laughs> Today is a Thursday. For the past couple of weeks, that has been shopping day. But because it's raining outside, it's not very attractive as an option. Plus, it's not like we haven't got a lot of stuff. So... We're still in bed, deciding whether we get out of bed. <laughs> Just washed our hair. He's wondering 
if he looks like a dandelion. Like a little buff ball. <laughs> I don't think he does. But this is the way that I have to flatten my hair so that it doesn't do that Wolverine look. Because I didn't bring a hairdryer with me. Well, actually, I brought it to the airport and then I had to give it away to Hannah because I, we were overweight. So these are my techniques for training and taming my hair. The marina also offers apartment accommodation. Toilet and shower facilities are available. There appears to be kitchen facilities on site, but that has been closed during our stay. Usually a laundry service would be available at a cost. another discovery about the little chirping bird and why this one little bird kept dropping twigs and sticks on our deck. It's because he was starting to build a nest in our boom. Which the reason that I noticed or decided to have a look in the boom was because they're doing it on this boat in the boom here. I saw a little bird flying out of the little tiny little hole at the end of the boom and thought hmm I wonder and lo and behold there's a whole pile of them in there so I've got a little tool that I'm going to try and extract them with they did have a close look there's no eggs or anything he's just shoved it all in there anticipating that he's going to have some quiet time to build it when we're not looking but we've intercepted and actually put very attractive uh, tea towel in there to put him off and it's worked but he hasn't come round as much which is a bit sad he's been busy I'm smiling under my mask <laughs> see he's smiling like this and my glasses are fogged up a gate surrounds the marina and there is a guard on site 24-7 as well as port police for check-in and out. There is also a sign that shows the original development plans for the marina which is a lot bigger than what actually exists. Maybe one day. Something that made me giggle most days was the marina jumping fish. Check them out. Stunning. Warm. 
warm day. Look at all this greenery that's popped up. We've decided because of the temperature, being in the high 20s, that's quite warm in the sun, that we're going to plonk ourselves into the water. 40s and all, boat, sandal, shoes and all, because it's a rocky beach, we're just gonna walk straight in. We had sunsets like this every day. Thanks for joining us and sharing our fun and games at Marina Oricum during COVID. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe. Until next time.